Hello, Buzz Girls. My name is Hansel C, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where last time we did various uh, fixes to our science production to see how fast we can ramp things up. And looking at the, the production now, uh, for the last 10 minutes, these are all the science packs save the space science because that's a bit erratic, has uh, high peaks and then going down to zero. So that's not really helpful. But we can see we have basically a, a wide bandwidth here. Um, with the yellow line, that's probably the production signs. Yeah, we noticed last time that this is lacking behind because we are lacking a bit of steel for the steel furnaces. Uh, but even here we are uh, producing six per minute so that's one every 10 seconds that's just not good enough looking at other ones maybe the blue one that's the green signs um, there we have 150 per seconds that's uh two and a half science packs per minute and the orange one that's yellow signs. That's also around two signs packs per minute on the on the average. So I think we should be able to get all signs packs to the level of two signs per second. And if we have achieved that then it's only a matter of scaling everything up um, evenly so not sure if we will still do that in in this series but let's try to get everything to um, two signs per seconds and in order to improve the the purple signs um, I have been looking around. We did improve this steel station here, but maybe we need another one. For that, we need a uh, iron ore field. We have one here, but that's basically already at the, the corner of the, of the map. We have a few up here. But those are all so pretty far out. We have a small one here. But I am eyeing up this one. This is pretty large. Um, what we might see, because it's, it's at the corner of our pollution range. So that will extend everything to down here. So maybe we then also have to make sure no alien action invasion comes from there um, as this is basically joined at the hip with the with the copper ore uh, we uh, might need to be a bit careful because we don't want to get any copper ore um, mixed in there um, so probably instead of having a setup like here with top bottom uh, we could go with top and uh, left hand side so let's see I probably need a few more miners I could put a few laps away and then I also need 
a few furnaces and are we using stack inserters there normal inserters for the most part only here where we add everything up we get the stack inserters all right so let me grab a few items head down there and then we can see about this uh, new steel production all righty then i have arrived down here i do have a few things in my pocket uh, and if we look at how we did it up here i think this opera station that's the one we want to copy because down here we have the long-handed insurgents because this the station and the whole production line is one tile off and of course you can uh, align rails only uh, by two tiles so uh, let's copy that and you can see the part where we are mining is just a small part uh, and we can make sure that everything else is not on the the field and if we do it this way we should cover a good bit and then let's rotate the whole thing and do it here again and here we then hopefully can switch around the, the station yeah so if we make that we can have the station from top down we will have a bit of wire going here copy that connect that nice and then we need this there that there and then let the robots build the rest of the thing. I'm not sure if I do have enough materials, but I guess we will find out at least for down here, I had enough furnaces. Looks like I'm lacking a few miners and inserters. So let's see how far we get with this setup up here so that I only have to make one trip um, to gather all the, the missing resources. Um, maybe also get rid of uh, the trees around here. Looks like I'm also missing a few uh, wooden chests I think there are a few uh, places or a few chests that still have wood or even wooden chests in there so let me head up 
grab the materials, finish this build, and then we shall see how we can connect this whole thing to our to our main line. And we probably also want to have radar down here. So let's place one in that corner and have another one up here. And then of course we need to sort out power with everything else that we need down here. Everything is in place and as always I greatly underestimated the amount of fast inserters that we need. Uh, had to run back twice to grab more and I'm still left with only 17 and our reserves are almost depleted. So let's bring this out a bit and let's bring this up a bit. That should give us an indication for where we are um, standing and then I think we will get a double line from above here uh, passing this coal field uh, which maybe sometime soon we might need to uh, uh, to uh, consider adding another coal uh, set up and I think we will mirror the exit here but then bring this out a bit maybe to here have it go diagonally there connect there we need a bit of power going down there and we need rail signaling so let's do this here and always counting three wagons Right, so now we are going down. To about here. And then we are going up again. And while going up, the one line is being built. Then we can continue the power line down there. And if I do it this way, it might be easier. And then we need to look at rail signals. There and there, 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 there and there. And there and there. So 
this one wants to go here, but then we also need to connect up this and here and here. So coming in this line uh, we probably want to have a signal there so that the train stops mm. let's do it here and get rid of this one because there, I'm not sure if we catch the trains that go this, this direction and that direction. Right. So, we still need uh, power. That works. And let's pull power here to the side. Um, here we are missing a few important pieces. Okay, that's all hooked up. Then let's also bring power down here and also here add the missing pieces and with that we should see everything starting to work and once we get sufficient supplies of uh, steel waiting in here um, trains then should also be able to use these stations to pick up steel however as mentioned this now expands the, the our pollution zone and that's just just the start because previously it was already at the edge and as we are starting to produce it will expand more so i think i will go on a drive around the, the this side of the of the water because here we are cut off by water but for example if the pollution extends over this bit of water and there is land down here with some nests they will try to pass find back to us so uh, let's try to avoid that so far there were only two smaller nests this one looks like the first bigger one but I guess they are still small like compared to the ones we had to deal with uh, up here uh, and especially uh, less less frequent. I mean the first thing here is always surviving the first wave uh, before we can then go in and uh, actually destroy some of the nests. Uh, with each nest that we are able to destroy we basically reduce the amount of uh, new biters or spitters that can get out of uh, the space and then we only have to deal with the worms and the remaining aliens and as you can see it's quite easy uh, as long as we have we have power and uh, are not stuck on any cliffs or 
in the goo. Looking at this, we probably want to explore a bit more in, in this area, just to be on the safe side. Down here looks like uh, all is, is water, but I, I still want to get a bit down here, just to make sure there is nothing like uh, an inlet uh, that then goes up here. So I think I will do that first. Uh, and uh, this is probably a good time to say goodbye uh, because time wise we are looking good for this episode and uh, next time we will see uh, if the uh, the steel setup that we did in this episode uh, had any effect or had enough of a positive effect for our uh, production science setup um, so that we can actually make headway with uh, more purple signs. All right then, goodbye for now.